Hello everyone, welcome to Cool IT Help. This is new video session for you. In this session, we are going to set up Julia programming environment in Visual Studio Code. So guys, let's talk about the Julia programming language. This is a high level dynamic language built for speed and simplicity. Basically used for data science, machine learning, scientific computing, but still you can use this for general purpose. So you can solve simple programming use cases. So guys, these are the steps in front of you in this notepad. We are going to follow these steps one by one for proper Julia environment setup in Visual Studio Code. Let's begin with the step one. In the step one, we need to download and install the Julia, Julia setup. You can say this is Julia SDK. You can find this thing here in this download link. So open the Chrome browser and paste this URL. The same link given in the description you can get it from there press enter and you will be landed here and this is the official download and trusted download location for the Julia setup you can see this is the current stable released recently launched on December 22 2021 and these are the platforms installer currently we are working with the Windows if you are guys looking for the Mac OS X you can look for the second one and in the windows if you guys have a 32-bit machine so you can proceed with the 32-bit installer otherwise you can choose a 64-bit installer in my case i am uh, using 64-bit installer so just click on this link and downloading will start you can see file is not big this will take minimum five minutes on your machine because your internet may be good and uh, <clears throat> For saving the time, I have already downloaded this file here on my machine. So this is the downloaded exe. So simply we have to do a double click to launch it. Okay, the very first window you will see installation directory. I would suggest please do not change the location of the installation because we are going to set up in the Visual Studio code. So this is showing me warning that I have already installed it. That's why this is showing me this warning so click next and proceed and leave the rest of the checkbox as it is do not need to change anything and this progress uh, will take minimum 30 to 40 seconds okay guys installation is successful finally we will see this window and here if you want to use the built-in julia terminal so you can proceed and check the first box uh, I'm not going to use it. Our target is Visual Studio Code. So we will run all the things from that place. Okay, now we are back here in the notepad at the step two. In the step two, guys, we need one extension, Julia extension inside the Visual Studio Code to get the Julia programming language support like auto completion, inline results, plot pen, variable view, code navigation, and many other advanced language features. Let me open the Visual Studio Code first. Here we go. This is our Visual Studio Code. Now I have to go here in the extension button. Click on it. In the search box, you have to type Julia. That's it. And we will get many results. We have to pick the first one, Julia programming, Julia language support. Okay, on the right hand side, you can see the details clearly. And uh, I have already installed this extension on my system that's why i am getting these two buttons disable and uninstall in your case you will get a single button install so just click on the install and the installation will take place within 30 seconds so guys after the installation we have to move on the step three in the step three we have to set up the julia exe path in the visual studio code because extensions don't know where you have installed this julia.exe in some cases this cannot automatically detect the julia.exe. So we have to go there and we have to set the julia.exe path manually. So you have to first get the exact path of the julia.exe. So go to here on this place and type julia and you will see the right click and open the file location. You will reach here. This is the uh, shortcut. Then again, do right click, open file location. Now you are on the right place. So copy this path. This is up to the bin folder and go back somewhere in the notepad and just save the path like this. 
and after that julia.exe so this is the complete path don't forget to append julia.exe okay once your path is ready we have to do one more activity we have to update this path somewhere let me show you where so we have to go to the file preferences then settings then we will type julia.executable path in the search box let me show you in the visual studio code so guys ignore whatever the error is coming and uh, go to the file preferences settings when you click on the settings that will open this page and now you have to type julia.executable path or you can simply copy the same text from the description and this thing will appear julia executable path and in your case this will be blank now what we have to give we have to give the complete path of the julia.exe this way put your path here in the box and click somewhere else and simply close the settings tab now it's time to restart the visual studio code don't forget to restart this is the important step so i am closing this visual studio code now again restarting the visual studio code okay guys we just code loaded now we are going to perform the step four guys i will show you how to create a julia file and how to run the julia file and how we can apply the debugging settings on the program so all these stuff i will cover in step four and step five so simply we have an option to press ctrl plus f5 to run without debugging if you press f5 so your julia file will open in the debugging mode okay and the new julia instance will run your file uh, for a simple program i have already uh, written here a program to add two numbers so i will use this program so i have just copied that program from the notepad anywhere you can create a folder and simply you can click on the file menu then open that newly created folder here once your folder is added here you can proceed so click here on this file create plus button and this box will up open and here you have to give the file name suppose you are going to create some program so i am creating a program hello2.jl jl is the extension for the julia file you can see these three dots that means you are going right this extension is right now once you click you will see your file is open here in the editor but nothing is present you have to type everything from the scratch so i have just pasted those lines of code for adding two numbers to run this go to the run menu or simply press ctrl plus f5 so your julia program will execute and the terminal will open and you can proceed this way You can see the sum is 400 this program executed successfully once the program is done you will see this message that you can simply close the terminal by pressing any key from the keyboard that's it guys now guys we will see how to apply the debug points you can see when you take your uh, mouse pointer to these line numbers you will see a red dot when you click any place that breakpoint will set for that line so suppose i want to debug two lines so i have clicked on two places at line number two at line number four now i will start in the debug mode so i have just pressed sim uh, f5 or you can choose the run and then select the debug and you can see the terminal the instance is launching in debug mode and the in the bottom you can see a orange strip that means you are running inside the debug mode on the top section you can see the debug controls the f10 and f11 f10 jump to the next line and f11 is for jumping into the suppose you have a function and you have just called the function with the f10 now you want to go inside the functions first line and the further lines then you will use f11 now in our case everything is very simple only single statements so we can proceed with the key f10 now you can see the control at line number two now i'm entering one number 100 and i just pressed enter and 
Now again pressing the F10. So moving to the next line. Now you can see you want to open the debug environment. So you have to click on this button. So this button open the debug controls here. You can see the variable A which we have entered 100. Also now we pressing the F10 and moving further step by step. And all the information will be appear here on the left hand side in debug mode. You can see in the bottom there is a breakpoint section. So how many breakpoints you are putting in your file that will be displayed here. You can simply check or uncheck those debug points. If you have a very lengthy file, 5000, 6000 lines of code and you have added lots of debug points. So you can disable all in one shot or you can enable one by one. So all breakpoints will appear here. And there's a call stack if you are uh, using function and you are jumping into the function so you can check where your program is running and uh, there's a watch in the top we have a variable section so all the variable values can be debugged from that place so guys this is all about the julia programming environment setup in visual studio code you guys can hit the like button if you found this useful and you can subscribe to appreciate us and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help